Hello, my name is Phil and welcome to my video. Is Doom playable on a 386 computer? Opinions differ, there are two camps. People that say, no, it's fine on a 386. Others believe it's too slow and you should go for a 486 or a Pentium. This video is here to demystify this topic a little bit using hard facts and some benchmarks and at the end a conclusion, so enjoy this video. In order to answer the question of this video, is Doom playable on a 386? I quickly put together a 386 with a DX40 MHz processor. It's, it is the Forex motherboard. You can find more information on my website. I'll put the links in the description. 4 MB of RAM, a I.O. controller for the hard drive and the floppy, a Cirrus Logic graphics card as well as a Sound Blaster 1.5. I'm using a 2 GB compact flash for extra performance. To start with the benchmarking, I'm going to use my 386 benchmark batch file. You can download it from my website, it fits on a single floppy disk. This basically just shows you what this machine is capable and if you want to compare your results with mine, you can also use these benchmarks. So first up we have 3D Bench, we're getting a 15.3 frame rate. PC Player Bench in VGA mode. 3.6 frames per second. Landmark benchmark clocks in at 69.43. Top bench scores 88. And finally we have Norton System Info with a score of 43.2. Doom has options to reduce the graphics details and the size of the screen in order to run better on slower computers. Using the keyboard you can press F5 to switch between low and high details and you can use the plus and minus keys to change the screen size. There are 9 different screen sizes in total. Alternatively you can press escape and go in the options menu and just use the on screen menus to do the same thing. The plan of attack is to benchmark Doom at low and high detail levels as well as all the screen sizes. So in total we have 18 benchmark runs. Doom makes it quite easy, it has a built-in benchmark. You can start that by typing Doom space dash time demo space demo 3 and then just press enter. So here we have the results from all the benchmark results in a nice table. Performance ranges from 6.33 to 24.98 frames per second. Note that Doom has a maximum frame rate limit of 35 frames per second. So if your system achieves 35, 35 frames per second, that's really um, where you should be. Now do note that some levels are a little bit more demanding than the benchmark demo. So your results may vary on depending on what level you're playing. So what do I think? Is Doom playable on a 386? In my opinion, not really. I mean, 24.98 frames sounds pretty good, but you have to realize this is on low details and in the smallest window size. It's not really the best way to enjoy this game. Now, Doom is an action game. It's meant to be played at a frantic pace. Lots of enemies around you, straving like crazy left and right and shooting them all. Um, it's not a game that lends itself to being laggy where you can uh, take your time and plan your moves. You really want this game as fast as possible and also in demanding situations. The time demo is not that demanding if you're playing on the hardest difficult level. There are a lot more enemies and there's just a lot more going on. So in my opinion, no, it's not really playable on a 386. You're much better off playing a game like uh, Wolfenstein 3D. For Doom, you're better off getting a 486DX2 or DX4, but you might as well go with a Pentium and just have that extra bit of performance for those situations where the graphics might get a little bit too demanding. That's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. 
Do you think this is playable on a 386 or not? Share your thoughts. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Any questions, just leave them down below.